This week is Severe Weather Awareness Week in Wisconsin, and our First Alert Weather team has coverage all week long to prepare you for the stormy season. Meteorologist Amanda Morgan joins us now with a deep dive into tornado sirens and how they function depending on where you live. Well, one of the most important ways to practice severe weather safety is by having multiple ways to receive alerts. Now, one of the oldest forms of an alert system is, of course, the tornado siren. And it might seem pretty straightforward, but it's actually a little bit more complicated than what you might think. The biggest misconception about outdoor sirens is who they're for. Their purpose is actually to alert people who are outside without access to alerts. That could be a farmer out in a field, people at a baseball game, or those that are out camping. This means that they are not intended for people who are indoors. Now, from the name, you might think that tornado sirens in your neighborhood could be activated only for a tornado in your area. That's actually not quite the case. First, it depends on who is operating the sirens in your county. Counties highlighted in orange here are operated at a countywide level. That means if there's a tornado warning, say, in Beloit, the sirens will still be going off in Janesville, whereas counties in yellow are operated at a citywide level. So only communities within a warning will hear those sirens. Now, what sirens are actually activated for also differs from county to county. Most counties only activate those sirens for an actual tornado warning, but some counties will also activate sirens for a very strong severe thunderstorm. All of that being said, it is best to not rely on those outdoor sirens as your main form of alert. Live in the studio, Amanda Morgan, NBC 15 News. And we do want to remind you, Wisconsin Emergency Management has decided to postpone the statewide tornado drill. It was originally scheduled to be tomorrow, but there's severe weather in the forecast in southern and central Wisconsin, so they're going to move that now to Friday. Officials said the decision was made to prevent any confusion in case National Weather Service offices needed to issue real warnings for severe weather threats tomorrow. So again, it's going to be the drills Friday.